Good morning. We have a lot of sunshine to come today, but of course that was not the story on Friday and Saturday. So in case you didn't catch an update yesterday, I wanted to go over the rainfall totals that we had for the first couple of days of December. So this happened since Friday morning and kind of wrapped up early yesterday morning at Chattanooga came in officially at the airport 1.95 inches of rainfall, so almost that two inch mark. Dayton and Athens both around two and a half inches, two inches as well in Scottsboro. Uh, Dalton a little bit less 1.18 inches there in Dalton. Cleveland two and a half inches as well. In fact, a little bit above two and a half. Whitwell at 2.35. Jasper that big number there 3.2 inches of rainfall, about an inch and a half in both Trenton and in Murphy, North Carolina as well. And this was all rain that we certainly needed with those ongoing drought conditions for the fall season. So thankful for this, we get to dry out for a few days as well. So here's what's happening outside right now. We have pretty quiet conditions across the Tennessee Valley and cold temperatures too. Most of our communities are in the 30s at this hour, 41 in Chattanooga and 40 in Altamont. No wind at this time, but that breeze from the southwest will be picking up as we go through the day today. So here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. I mentioned drying out after the weekend rain. Uh, there are a few of you that may pick up a little bit of rainfall today. There's going to be a brief window this morning time for about 8 to 11 a.m. that we can see a couple a couple little spotty sprinkles or a light shower here or there, mainly north of Chattanooga with those partly sunny skies, 41 at 8 a.m. By noon, though, it's mostly sunny and 57 degrees, 60 at 2 o'clock, 59 at 4 p.m. Generally afternoon highs today ranging from about 55 to 62 across the area. And then by 6 p.m. tonight, it'll be mostly clear and 54 degrees. Uh, notice that wind from the southwest to the west for the morning time into the afternoon. Again, sustained at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting around 20 to 25. Here's the more long-term look for this week ahead. So enjoy the 61 today. The 57 tomorrow is going to be pretty seasonable for this time of year. Our normal high would be 56 degrees. Notice Wednesday that big cool down only a high of 49 and then it starts to stair step right back up hitting a high mild on Saturday at 63 degrees. Well, what about those rain chances then? So today all the way through Friday, we're generally drier conditions. Yes, we will have a window of time for a few little sprinkles of light shower here or there today, Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's not a whole lot. The next significant rainfall comes into play once again, unfortunately, during your weekend. Now, Saturday generally looks dry during the daytime. This 30% is more Saturday night and that rain will continue into Sunday as well. But I do want to kind of focus on the short term. Let's get you through the next few days uh, just for this work and school week. Outside right now, we have this one kind of narrow band of clearing skies, more clouds to the southeast of that, more clouds to the northwest, but nothing on the radar here locally. I'm going to pull back further and what you're going to notice is this low pressure system and trailing trough. Right along that, there's a little bit of rainfall. So as this continues to move eastward, that's what's going to bring us those small rain chances for today. So you can see that kind of clipping through during this morning time. It's not much. A couple little spotty sprinkles here and there, mainly north of Chattanooga. That's going to move through really pretty quickly. And look at all that sunshine you get for your Monday afternoon. Again, wind from the southwest to the west. It's going to be breezy out there, but a great day ahead. Overnight, a slight increase in clouds becoming partly cloudy once more. As we look ahead to Tuesday, mostly sunny skies for the first part of the day. We will have a few additional clouds that move in Tuesday evening, but it's not until Tuesday night that the rain chances I mentioned come into play. And again, each one of these really pretty small in size. As Tuesday night turns into Wednesday morning, even colder air is going to filter in that wind from the northwest and we start to see a little bit of blue and pink. There's the possibility of a few snow flurries Wednesday morning, especially for the mountains of Monroe County into Cherokee County, particularly up into the Smokies. Even a couple of flurries possible up along the Cumberland Plateau. For most of you, it's not going to be anything that you notice, but it will certainly be colder on Wednesday with that wind coming in from the north. Today, though, the morning time sprinkle, the afternoon sunshine, those gusts at about 20 to 25 miles per hour, 61 for your high. Tonight, 37 increasing clouds so becoming partly cloudy. It'll be a cold with lows in the 30s and then tomorrow 57 mostly sunny. That's really quite seasonable for this time of year. Wind from the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we look at your full seven day forecast, I put the morning on there for Monday. We're looking at that 20% and then that 10% for Tuesday is really Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, dry Thursday and Friday and then for the weekend. Right now, of course, it could change as we get closer, but Saturday daytime looks good. The rain is Saturday night and then into the day on Sunday. All right, Allison.